I'm going to talk to you about a photograph of O'Connell Street that was taken uh, almost 60 years ago in uh, 1964. And this is a, a photograph that you can uh, access online. It's part of the Fulcha Ireland Tourism Photographic Collection. And you can see here it, the details uh, of the photograph. It's a part of the Fulcha Ireland Tourism Photographic Collection and it's uh, accessible online uh, through the Dublin City Libraries and Archive Digital Repository, uh, an incredible resource. And uh, the Fulcha Ireland Tourism Photographic Collection can also be accessed online uh, through the Digital Repository of Ireland. And uh, I'll just zoom in then uh, on the photograph itself. You can see here, uh, depicting the main tour fair of uh, Dublin City, a very busy uh, afternoon in the photograph was taken and uh, I'll move in on the two figures at the front of the photograph. See there, the, the man and the woman are uh, walking uh, across uh, O'Connell Bridge and just to uh, pick out a few details uh, from the photograph in this short presentation we'll see here the man has a, a camera in his hand, uh, hardly surprising considering the location and uh, you'll notice here towards the back that uh, there used to be benches uh, around the Daniel O'Connell monument. You can see a, a gentleman there uh, sitting down relaxing. And I'll move over to the right side of the photograph. And we can see a bus here. And as well as the advertising, you can see that it was a, a number 11 bus traveling to Clonsky. And at the back, you can see the famous Cleary's clock which, if you look hard enough, uh, tells you that this photograph was taken uh, around 10 past four uh, in the afternoon, uh, possibly a weekend considering how busy uh, the street is. Now, uh, I'll move towards the back of the photograph. And uh, we can see the two famous monuments, the Daniel O'Connell monument at the front. And then uh, at the back, we can see Nelson Pillar, which is obviously uh, no longer there, that uh, O'Connell Monument, even in this old photograph in black and white, allows you when you look in close to see a detail that a lot of people miss. Uh, the books there beside uh, O'Connell's left foot. And then we have Nelson Pillar, the famous Nelson Pillar, uh, blown up just a couple of years later in uh, March of 1966 and occupied now obviously uh, by the spire. And uh, this photograph allows you to get a, a nice glimpse of that caged platform uh, underneath the uh, figure of Nelson. And it's very interesting looking at different photographs from the Falch Ireland uh, Tourism Photographic Collection and uh, linking them up to find a, a narrative and also understand each image more. And for example, uh, we can see another image here uh, that was taken from that uh, platform at the top of Nelson Pillar and it's looking down uh, in the direction that the other photograph was taken and you'll see now if you zoom in you can see the O'Connell monument there at the foreground and you can see some details about O'Connell Street that weren't uh, visible from the other image uh, the two monuments of uh, John Gray Sir John Gray and uh, William Smith O'Brien and also all the parked cars uh, between the O'Connell Monument and the William Smith O'Brien uh, Monument. Uh, obviously, O'Connell Street looks very uh, different today. Uh, I have to say, I think it looked better back in the 60s. And um, there are photographs, there's almost 10,000 photographs in the Falcha Ireland collection, and a lot of them are to do with uh, Dublin. There are uh, photographs taken all across Ireland from the 1930s up to the turn of this century. And I'll just show you a couple from the west of Ireland uh, that have been colorized in recent times by Old Ireland in color. We can see uh, a young girl here and another bather in Salt Hill, Galway, uh, colorized here. And when you move in, you can see the lady there with a swimming hat there taking a a dive off the platform and at the same time 1952 possibly the same photographer took this other photograph 
uh, in the Aran Islands. Yeah. Showing you a woman and uh, three grandchildren. And I'll show you the colorized photo up here. And then zoom in to get a better look at the faces. It's a really wonderful photograph and fascinating to uh, look at the clothes worn uh, by the two children there on the right. So uh, that's just a, a brief discussion of a, a photograph of a commentary from 1964 and then just at the end a couple of other photographs from the west of Ireland uh, taken in 1952 just to give you a, a glimpse of what O'Connell Street used to look like uh, back in the day, uh, but also introduce you to that wonderful resource, uh, the Fulch Ireland Tourism Photographic uh, Collection, uh, a wonderful resource for anybody interested in Irish heritage, Irish photography, and uh, the history of Irish tourism. Yeah, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another History of Dublin video. All the best.